Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here. Um, today I want to just make a dedicated review to QuickTime X. Um, I've made a Snow Leopard beta review, and now I kind of wish I haven't made it because now that the real one comes out, there's a couple of new features in it, but whatever. You can find that out on other YouTube videos. So instead, I'm going to make a review on the QuickTime X, which I haven't really went over on the other one. So, the first thing about QuickTime X is that it gives you this feature to actually play movies inside the Finder. So if I zoom in here, I can hover over um, the movie. Press the play button. What's up, YouTube? It's Joe Cass here, and today I'm going uh, to go to part. I hear that, but the video is playing inside my Finder. Very nice feature, and I think that is what has to do with QuickTime X. Another feature is if I just open this up, I could go to File, New Movie Recording. It's probably going to be pretty dark, but yeah, that's me right there. Um, I could just press the record. It'll start recording me. Um, so yeah, it'll make a dot .movie file, so you really won't have to rely on Photo Booth anymore. If I go over here, I can make an audio recording as well, which is pretty good for podcasts and stuff like that. Just recording my audio. I go to file again, I can do a new screen recording. Now, this isn't the best screen recorder. I mean, if you're really looking for a good one, then you gotta invest some money on it. But if you know, you don't if you can't afford it or whatever, this is perfect to use for some of you guys. Um, obviously the the thing I find stupid about it is you have to press this arrow and check in built in microphone, internal microphone for it to actually pick up audio. The default is for some reason, none. Um, you could choose where to save it to, and you could choose the quality. I'm going to show you an example of this. If I record my screen right now, it's recording right now, you got a little stop record button. I'm not really sure what those, uh, you know, I'm not really sure what the shortcut is to stop record, but you know, it's not. This. It's very, if it's I record my screen right now, you can see my mouse is moving now. You can it's see it skips right some frames there. Got a little stop it's that's what I said you can not expect um, really good out of it I just also noticed right now looking at it it didn't take the top um, taskbar if you notice that up there alright so say you make a video in QuickTime you make a screen recording you can go to share you could share it to YouTube so I make a new movie recording I'm making a new movie recording right now stop it while it's highlighted I can go to share I can publish that to YouTube, share, iTunes, or Mobile Me Gallery. Also, press this little arrow, and it does the same thing. I could also do, have a trim feature where I could actually do a little mini edit inside my video. Press trim. Now the video mm -hmm. is obviously just that section I trimmed it to. I'm not going to save that, though. Now, some of you guys are going to be saying, What the heck, Apple? You just downgraded QuickTime Player. Think about it, guys. When iMovie HD 6.0 came out, it had a lot of features that you really wouldn't expect in an editing system that comes with the operating system. So what they did was when they upgraded iMovie to the 09 and 08, they started to lose some features and gain little ones because they wanted to make Final Cut Express more concentrated on better editing, so they took it away when they upgraded. That's what they're sort of doing to the QuickTime X. So some of you guys are going to say, well, why can't in QuickTime 7, um, let me just make a video, right? Um, let me open up a video I have. In QuickTime 7, you were able to do this. All right. In QuickTime 7, you could take another movie and drag it in. And what it will do is it'll actually, you could actually move around and put two videos in one video. So it's pretty much very nice editing. But, as you can see, Apple is doing the same thing. They're trying to make QuickTime less reliable for that and make you have to get iMovie. That's what they're doing with this. But, you know, I can't blame them because if you really want to go that far, you could just get QuickTime 7 back. I mean, just because you have QuickTime X doesn't mean you can't have QuickTime 7 again. I choose not to install it. I'm probably going to end up installing it sometime in the future anyway, though. Even though I never used it for those features, it's always good to have both, just in case. Um, so these are the features of it. Uh, I can open a file, open a URL, open a recent file, which is, you know, 
pretty much all my movies that I recently opened. Show Movie Inspector. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, whatever. There's no document selected, so um, you know, there's no preferences. Um, obviously, the only preferences is through system preferences, which is just giving you. See, I had open URL. Um, checked in over there and it gave me that capture full screen let's see if I check that in right now open up this file new screen recording record it right now now it's capturing my full screen let's stop record uh... well it still didn't do that taskbar change but you know I guess you can't just do everything these days in life you know what I'm saying guys so let me just uncheck that well then now you pretty much know what this what to expect when you get QuickTime X now let me just go over one thing for those of you who are saying oh this means I don't really have to upgrade if I really wanted this I could just go where's BB or any of those torrent websites or any of those ha uh, cracking websites and go and download QuickTime X on my leopard no because Leopard runs on 32-bit. QuickTime X is a 64-bit application. It'll only run on Snow Leopard. You can't get it on Leopard. So this is a this app is pretty much a feature that can only be used in Snow Leopard. Alright. Well, that's pretty much my review of QuickTime X. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that I'm um you know let you know one of the many great features that to expect in Snow Leopard. So guys, comment, rate, and subscribe and have a nice day.